Welcome to our weekly Bible Reader Companion Series. This week our reading is taken from Revelation chapters 3 through 12, with our memory verse being taken from Revelation chapter 3 verse 11. From the New King James, our memory verse reads, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. Let's consider the passages found in uh, Revelation chapter 4, uh, verses 1 through 6. Beginning in verse 1, After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet, speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardis stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices, seven lamps of fire burning uh, before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass, like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and, round, and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back. Chapter 4 begins to present the sovereignty of God. Though it may sometimes appear that wicked men are in control, all things are governed by God. The revelation is designed to prepare the followers of Christ for trials which they would be subjected uh, before the ultimate return of Christ, where the victory could be obtained. Thus it begins by a glorious scene of the reigning God in heaven. This scene appears uh, designed to set the stage for what follows. At the outset, we are shown the first guarantee of the ultimate um, victory of God uh, on his throne. The praise offered by the four living creatures and the 24 elders reinforce the truth that the one on the throne and ultimately in control is none other than the Lord God Almighty. Eternal and holy and the creator, he holds all things together. God is therefore worthy of glory, honor, and power. He is the one to revere, uh, to revere. not some mortal man, uh, no matter what power may uh, exercise that he may exercise on earth. Though at the time of the writing of the book, which I believe was late in the first century, and not just prior to the destruction of Jerusalem, the Roman ruler Domitian was exerting his imperial power with a vengeance, and the oppressed saints were confronted with seemingly innumerable odds. The throne scene provides great assurance, again, that God rules over and controls the affairs of men. This is not the only place that emphasizes the ultimate control of God on the world and the nations. Remember the book of Daniel and the dreams and the visions that were given of the things that would come to pass according to God's providence, according to his plan. What did King Hezekiah observe when the Lord slew 185,000 Assyrians when they tried to overtake Jerusalem, contrary to what God willed? Imagine this scene and all that John saw, and right in the center of it is the sovereign God upon his throne. God's throne is significant in Revelation as we read it, as it's referred to 17 times just in this uh, chapter and the next chapter, and in the entire book at least 40 times. His throne signifies his infinite power, his rule, and dominion uh, over his creation. Even the trials and the tribulations that are uh, designated in subsequent chapters are also in the hand of God. So let all God's people take heart, even even us as we make application in our lives today as we read uh, this revelation, regardless of the situation of life that may come upon us, and remember that the ultimate victory will be to those who hold fast and keep God's word. Be encouraged that no one can separate us uh, from the love of God and our promised reward, even if it costs us our physical life in service to him. Let's continue to meditate upon our memory verse, Revelation 3 and verse 11. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. Thank you and join us again tomorrow as we continue to meditate on God's word together.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.